Hey guys, it's Linda and today I'm gonna show you how I do my face from moisturizer to my eyebrows. So basically the things I do before I do my eyes and my lips and stuff. I'm gonna start with my moisturizer and it's the post recovery cream from PH Formula that I really love. I'm just gonna take a little And after my moisturizer, I always use my SPF and I'm also using the pH formula um, here and it's the UV Protect SPF 50 because we don't want to have wrinkles. And I also use an eye, oh, there's my eye my eye recovery. It's also from PH Formula. I stick to the same brand. Uh, but it worked. Oh, I took too much. This is too much eye cream. Uh, just want to have a little bit. Shit. Okay, just a little bit. Just dab it in. Not on the eyelids, only like around the eyes. Next step is my professional. Uh, primer from the balm to minimize pores and stuff like that, pores and fine lines. So I am using that on basically on the T zone. Nose, cheeks, chin, and my forehead. And now for the makeup. So right now I am using the HD stick, the Ultra HD stick from Makeup Forever in 120 Y 200, 245. This, ah, sorry, this one. So I'm just gonna do like this. And I know this is gonna look a little bit dark, but I'm gonna use powder to line it up. And I'm using my beauty blender to blend it out. Don't forget to blend the foundation down, down to your neck. <laughs> the foundation <clears throat> down to your neck as well. So the neck gets the same color as the face. And I think this foundation is good because you don't really need a concealer underneath your eyes and or on your eyelids because this foundation covers pretty much everything. All right, <clears throat> after that, I am using a powder. So, like a translucent powder. So today I'm using the Paris Berlin High Tech Loose Powder, a HT20. It's a little bit yellow, so it covers redness and it works for me and I'm using the powder puff from LH Cosmetics to apply it so I'm gonna apply this into my face and this guys is the trick this is the trick that makes the makeup stay all day without melting off I know there's a lot of different techniques out there but this is the technique that I'm using. I'm just like prepping my face with powder and then I am creating shades and highlights and everything on top of this. I have a pretty flat face and I'm gonna change that, of course. So I'm gonna grab my all over brush from LH Cosmetics and I'm gonna use some uh, TK foundation and it's the foundation C2. I'm gonna use that one on my nose to highlight a little bit. And this also gives a little bit of glow that I like. And also a little bit, also a little bit of coverage. Uh, so if you have red cheeks or red nose or red chin, this one is perfect to like cover up the little extra. Right. So let's do my eyebrows. 
before I do anything else. You know why? Because if I did my base before, like the shading and highlight and stuff, if, if I did my brows after, maybe I like, I'm gonna touch my face and I'm gonna ruin the contour. So that's why I'm doing my brows first before I do the contour. So I'm gonna use the Infinity Palette by LH Cosmetics and I'm gonna use the color Fornax to fill in my brows with. And I'm gonna use the angled brush, brush, the angled brush also from LH Cosmetics to fill in my brows with. Next step is brow gel, and I am using um, the brow gel by Tonya Crooks. Her brow gel. This one is just amazing, and it's so hard. So, I mean, if you have these hairs that are growing downwards, this brow gel is definitely gonna make them stay where you want them all day long. So I really really love this brow gel. I think I'm done with my brows. So let's start with the contouring. So I'm gonna start with contouring my nose and I'm gonna use the Maffe, the lightest color in the Infinity palette and I'm gonna contour my nose with it because I don't want a strong contour I just want like a little shade and this is so easy because so you can't you can't do wrong with it so it's super super simple and as I have I have such light skin so Maffe is the perfect contour if you are like a beginner or if you're not really used to contouring and if you have very light skin, you can use Maffei as a contour uh, for your nose and also cheeks and forehead or what, what you, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna contour my cheekbones and now I'm mixing up, I'm mixing Cigar and Maffei. I'm going to contour my forehead and I'm using Swicky and Maffei there because I want like more of a um, bronzed contouring on my forehead. Okay, so now I'm going to take my powder again and I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm baking! No, actually I'm just going to create like a line under my contour. Now I'm going to do some blush and I'm going to use the uh, pinwheel today for like a fresh, fresh rosy cheek. And now the fun part, the uh, highlight. As you can see, I'm using Virgil a lot, so I'm gonna use Virgil today as well. I'm using Virgil on my cheekbones, on my nose. My chin. And also on my forehead a little bit, just to get a little glow. Okay, so last step in my daily base routine is the Lumine, the Lumine, Lumine, Lumine Glow Refresh Hydrating Vitamin C Mist. This is my latest obsession and I can't get enough of it, so I'm just gonna spray it on. I can do this forever, it's just amazing. I love it. It's Mm, you feel so fresh and just nice when using this one. This one is, yeah, like I said, my latest obsession and I think you should check it out because it's awesome. So, that 
was all this so this is my everyday that was all this so this is my everyday base routine before I do my eyes and my lips and everything else like color wise so yeah this is how you get the perfect base <laughs> And I really, really hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next week. Bye guys!